Now in this lesson, we will find the time period of SHM by the second method that is energy method. The first step in this method is same as the first step in the earlier method that is find the mean position. Once we have found the mean position, now we go to the displaced position. At the displaced position, we try to find the total mechanical energy that is kinetic energy plus potential energy. Total energy in SHM is constant. So this equation we differentiate with respect to time and that will be equal to zero because total energy in SHM remains constant. Then we do some substitution. If it is a linear SHM, dx dt is V, dv dt is A. If it is angular SHM, then d theta dt is omega and d omega dt is alpha. Okay, so after we do this substitution, we come to step 5 and rest of the method is same. Now this total energy can include various, can include various things. It can be gravitational potential energy. Okay, it can be elastic potential energy. It can be electrostatic potential energy. It can be rotational kinetic energy. It can be translational kinetic energy. In case of gravitational potential energy, we can take the reference point as mean position. So therefore, the potential energy at the mean position can be taken to be zero.